What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janos, creator of Pinoy Tech Dad. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can recover your deleted files even if they're not in your recycled bin anymore. And to help us with that task, I'm going to be using our sponsor for today, Wondershare's Recover It program. And I know sponsored videos usually get a bad rap, but trust me, I'm going to be showing you why this works and why I trust Wondershare's Recover It. So let's move back to my desktop setup so you guys can see how it works. All right, so this is my desk setup. And as you can see, we're now at Wondershare's website. Don't worry, I'll be sharing the link of this website in the description box if you wanna get this or try it. So the first thing you'll do is to download it. So you click this, of course you keep the file and then yeah, you just install it like so. Just click yes. And in my case, I already have it installed right here. So I don't need to install it, but I'm just showing you how it works. So let's close that. And as you can see here, these are my hard drives, but I'm just going to show you how it works if in case you delete a file. So these are photos of my family and yeah, let's go ahead and try to look at some photos. All right. So this one, let's try to delete this. This is me and my wife in South Korea and yeah, let's go ahead and delete that. So let's try another photo. Um, how about this one? Yeah, let's go ahead and delete this. So right now they're in the recycle bin, as I will show you. So they're still here. You can still recover them, as you can see. Um, if you right click on this, you can restore them back to their original location. But if I empty this, So as you can see, the file is not in its original folder. There used to be three photos here and then right here in the recycle bin, you don't have the file anymore. So what we're going to do is go to the recovery application or the program and let's go and select the location where you want to recover it. And yeah, so it should start. There you go. So here we go, we already found it. So yeah, these are the two files that we deleted. So this one is the one with my wife and my daughter. And the other one is my wife and I in South Korea. So there's a box right on the left side of these files and you can check them to select them as the files that you want to recover. And we're gonna be recovering these two files. So after you press the recover program, it gives you the option to buy the full version of this program. You're actually allowed to recover up to 100 MB of file size in this trial version. And if you want to recover bigger file sizes, of course, that's when you need to purchase the full version as well. So let's go ahead and recover these small file sizes. So I tried to recover the file back to its original folder and this is what it says. So to increase your chances of recovering the file, you actually have to put this in a separate partition. And luckily, we have separate partitions here. So let's go ahead and put this in a different partition. So right here, this is a 2020 storage. And let's just put this in the main folder. It still gives you the same warning, but you know, this is a different partition. So let's go ahead and proceed with this. Oh, and, and it actually gives you a different folder. And there we go. This is the full version of the file that we deleted. As you can see, we were able to recover these files even though we emptied the recycle bin. So these files were no longer in the recycle bin, but I was still able to recover them. So just imagine if you lost something very important in your files and you emptied the recycle bin by accident. Now, there's one thing you need to know about this program. You're not going to be able to recover all of the files that you've deleted before. Uh, it's kind of complicated to explain here, but just imagine that as you're making new files, those new files might occupy the same path that your old files occupied. So if those new files take over the old path that your deleted files had, then there's a huge chance you won't be able to recover the files that you already deleted. But for most files that you've deleted recently, this is going to be working properly because you'll be able to recover them as long as a 
again, those new files that you've created doesn't take over the same path that your old deleted files used to have. Now, I hope that explanation makes some sense, but the short version of it is that you won't be able to recover all of the files that you're looking for, but hopefully you'll be able to recover the important ones because in this work from home scenario, you're going to need something like this because it's definitely guaranteed that you're most likely going to be deleting some files that you thought you didn't need, but then at some point you remember that you actually need them. And then once you look for them in the recycle bin, they're no longer there. So Wondershare's recover it program really comes in handy in those types of situations. All right. So those are my tips on how you can use the Wondershare recover it program and how you can recover your deleted files, even if they're not in your recycled bin anymore. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.